That's Stray's tutoring? Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where we'll be going over the placenta. The placenta is a remarkable and temporary organ that plays a crucial role in pregnancy. It supports the growth and development of the fetus and it's formed in the uterus shortly after conception and serves as a life support system for the developing baby. It acts as an intermediate between the mother and the fetus, so it's really responsible for the exchange of oxygen, nutrients, and waste products across the maternal and fetal blood supplies. It also produces essential hormones that regulate pregnancy and promote fetal development. Structurally, the placenta is composed of maternal and fetal tissues that are connected to create a complex network of blood vessels. This specialized organ not only sustains the fetus throughout pregnancy, but it also adapts to meet the changes needed of both the mother and the baby. Unfortunately, after the birth, the placenta is delivered as the afterbirth, making it the end of its role in the reproductive process. So let's shift into the parts of the placenta and we'll go into even why it is understudied. So if we start with parts of the placenta, it has several main parts that support its role in nourishing and protecting the fetus during pregnancy. First, we have the chronic plate, and you guys can see it here in the arrows as they populate. The fetal side, it's the, it's the chronic plate is the fetal side of the placenta where the umbilical cord attaches. It contains these special blood vessels that help carry oxygen and nutrients from the mother to the fetus. On the other side, we have the basal plate. So this is the maternal side. So we have two sides, the fetal side and the maternal side. So on the maternal side is the basal plate. And this attaches to the uterine wall and facilitates the exchange of nutrients and waste between the mother and the baby. Next, we have the intervillous space. And this is the area between the chronic and basal plates. So think of it kind of like a sandwich. We have the chronic plate, basal plate, and right in the middle, we have that intervillous space, and this is filled with maternal blood. It allows nutrients, gases, and waste products to be exchanged through diffusion. Then we have the chronic villi. So these are like these uh, finger-like projections that you guys can see, and it extends into the intervillous space. So what this does is it increases the surface area for nutrients and gas exchange between the maternal and fetal fetal blood. And lastly, we have the umbilical cord, something everyone is most familiar with. And this contains two arteries and one vein, and this carries oxygen and nutrients between the placenta and the fetus. So those are kind of some of the main parts of the placenta. Of course, it goes more in depth. Maybe I'll make a separate video for this, but just so you guys are familiar with the main functions and parts of the placenta you guys have it down packed now we go into why is the placenta understudied is this new for something for some of you guys is this something new that you're hearing well i will tell you this the placenta research is very understudied the reason is because of its short-lived nature again the placenta is a temporary organ it only exists during the duration of the pregnancy which means Historically, it has been a less central, you know, uh, centralized long-term health outcomes. But there is some emerging research that are linked to placental health and to both short-term and long-term incomes for mother and child. But again, you know, we're in the process of just improving the research. But as for now, it's, you know, really co overcoming some of these barriers where it's a short-lived organ. And it's unfortunate because... It is a very important organ between the mother and, uh, and, the, uh, and the baby. But due to it being so short-lived, right after birth, it's just tossed out. Next is the historical gender bias in research. Historically, there's been less emphasis on, uh, emphasis on women's reproductive health and medical research. So many of the conditions related to pregnancy, such as preeclampsia or fetal growth restrictions, they've been, they received very little research and, you know, slowed down advancements in understanding the placenta's role. Another main issue is the ethical and technical challenges, right? Because 
it's a human pregnancy. Well, there are other animals that have a placenta, but you know, we're more focused on the human placenta. And obtaining that placental tissue requires careful handling, and it's only available after birth. Uh, and of course, you know, there are some ethical concerns about studying the placenta uh, in vivo in pregnant women restrictions, certain type of invasive studies, making research challenging. It is pretty invasive. You know, this is taking out somebody's organ. So there are some ethical and technical challenges. And then, of course, lastly, we have limited awareness and funding. For me personally, I just started a part of my master's program and I'm actually doing some research in this, creating a database for placental, um, placental research. And I didn't realize just how understudied this was. So, so many, uh, many of you that are watching, this may be new to you as well. So many policymakers and funding bodies are less aware of its importance. So it uh, almost leads to a lower prioritization for research funding. You know, uh, medical research funding, they prioritize long-term health conditions, you know, such as cancer, cardiovascular disease, uh, over temporary structures like the placenta. It may be a bit harder to get that funding and that awareness. But now that you guys know, I encourage you all to go ahead and, you know, look into it more. Uh, and fill in those gaps and, you know, spread that awareness. Of course, it's not your jobs, but I think, you know, uh, you, you guys can learn where, especially for women, where a lot of this is understudied. So I just encourage you guys to go out and maybe look up more about the placenta. And if you guys learn anything new, share it down below. But I just wanted to make this quick video to let you guys know about the placenta, some of the main parts and why it's understudied. So if you like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, and I'll be happy to share with you guys the next video. But in the meantime, enjoy some of the shorts, some of the other videos that I have. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.